guys, check out the wheels, they came out really clean. So, um, where are we? We're at the stage that the tank is technically ready to go back on, maybe. We're kind of sorting out the exhaust at the moment, we need that to go back on, but it was so rusty that the bolts that hold the end can had snapped. Now we've got metal cable ties, here's the exhaust by the way. Now we've got metal cable ties to hold it up, but ultimately I think an exhaust bracket would be the right thing to do there. Uh, but it may be, maybe a metal tie to here or something, John would do that. Um, have we got bolts? Bolts. Will they work then, bolts? Yeah. Um, we've got we've got better quality bolts now, guys, to put on. And so I think the exhaust goes on next. And oh, I don't know. Oh, I genuinely don't know. I think we just carry on doing it in the way we think is the right way to do it, really. But let's get the exhaust on. All the carbon, everything else is set up. So exhaust is on. Yeah, uh, it's down by the chair, John, underneath. Exhaust is on, um, nipped up with good bolts. Now, yesterday there was a risk of this engine being ruined because the Chinese bolts used had rusted on the head. And that's really frustrating, ruining a whole engine because they use cheap bolts. So we put in some decent bolts now, which is good. And uh, actually, I think the look's coming along for me. It's, it's getting there. Uh, my aim is to matte black the front mudguard you can buy a brand new front mudguard for 30 quid gloss black but then three years later it looks like that if it gets to three years hmm. i mean everything you can buy new guys you can buy a new tank how much was the tank 100 100 quid actually john the tank with with the fuel sender um a new exhaust is 120 although i think the new exhaust is stainless i think so that's what 220 pound. Yeah, the point is you could build a whole new bike out of the parts, but ultimately they're the same parts. So two or three years later, you have the same issue. Um, there's not really any way. If it's a stainless exhaust, actually, it'll be all right. It will last longer. I don't get your plan there, John. Oh, you're making wedges. Yeah. You're going to spice them. <laughs> I see. You're making wedges to wedge in between to put pressure on it yeah John slice away from you man Ugh. slice away from you no, I'm, I'm <laughs> 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 uh, right what am I gonna do uh, I, I'm tempted to put the tank is the tank sealed John yeah I might just seat the tank on for now because I have no idea let me seat the tank on of course, soon we could be testing the gearbox on this and everything. This is weird. All right, guys. So, I mean, that, that tank is not... It's seated only. Uh, and it's not even seated straight, is it? What's going on there? It's weird. Um, it's not even seated straight yet, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, don't worry about the side panels. We've got them over there. We just need to glue them back on. That'll look back to normal. And I've got some Honda badges at home. I think John will love it in the end, but but I'm going to, uh, you know, he, it's a bit misleading. Uh, I wouldn't be selling it as a Honda. I'd be selling it as a Lex, but it'd have my Honda emblems on. They're just really nice ones that I've got years back that I've never used. Um, you'll be impressed. I'm going to bring them up after. But uh, for now, I don't know. It's like, it's like we're flying through this project. It don't make it. Two days ago, John... This was an absolute non-runner. Yeah. And now, it's ready to put fuel back in. One of the things we are kind of, one of the things that might kind of sort make us buy a new tank, guys, is that we're currently under uh, free flow. So we don't know if the, um, we don't know if, the uh, carb will be able to handle a free flow in you know from the tank it's going to be free flow uh, ways of dealing with that would be a suction system as in a diaphragm suction system there's not many good ones out there and also where would we take our suction from currently uh, I mean we've blocked everything off there's no obvious place to get your suction from to be fair, 
if this didn't manage free flow, we're kind of screwed, actually, ultimately, aren't we? But let's not worry about that for now. Let's get the tank on and bolted down almost, maybe. And we'll see where we go from there. We've actually put the original cable on. We did, we hacked it away and we kind of made it work. And it's fine. It will last. It will last, you know, it will last forever. But uh, that's not the ultimate. Um, uh, yeah, we're, I've got a new cable coming. So remember, we're relying on the carb to not overfill and spill out. Um, it's, it, it needs to kind of stop the flow of the fuel until it needs it. So at the moment, that's all mocked up, guys. It's just mocked up for now. We're just seeing if the tank holds the fuel and sends the fuel down to the carb and we don't get any spill. So keep your eye out on the floor. We're looking for spill. It's a bit nerve-wracking. Um, also, any fuel on the tank and it just wrecks it, doesn't it? Chewing. That's uh, optimistic. Yes, you're on the cable now. Yeah. Clutch, clutch has to be in to start this one for some reason. Has it got a token? No. And what else is going on? Didn't gear. Five percent. If it's in gear, it won't. Um, no, it's not in gear.
Alright guys, we're going to see if we can get it running on its own battery power. I'm going to give it a quick spin up and down the road just to see if it selects gears and stuff. Um, it, it didn't feel like it was particularly overly powered earlier on the on the AirPod, but saying that the uh, the automatic uh, choke disconnected means it stays on. So um, it needs to be powered for it to come off for the bike to work at proper temperatures, if that makes sense, it does. And that's fine, we can find power to it, no issue at all. Uh, but yeah, that's the way it works. You power it, it heats up, it shrinks, and then it stops choking the system. I'll take it for a very quick spin up and down the road, this one here, just to see if it does anything. So, it has no speed or power really at this stage. Um, it didn't kind of pull away, didn't, it uh, sounds a bit iffy. Uh, I, there's a couple of things I want to do. I want to do a bit of a spray test in this area and make sure it's not, you know, sucking in too much air. And the other thing then technically is power, power the choke. So connect choke to the power so that once it's off because at the moment if you think about it it's choking the air yes no this choke works differently it's running on choke isn't it it's running on choke until it's powered i believe yeah so i need to look at powering up the choke even if that's just too wise to the battery for now just to test it but ultimately it needs up jetting as well to run on that airpod so there's going to be a bit of fettling around with this one, but it's easy enough to do it being the AirPod and all. It's all kind of accessible. I do want to check out of curiosity, just the electrics. It's got a horn. It's got front left indicator. It's got rear. It's got rear right indicator. It's got front right indicator. Um, I don't know, is the light on? It's probably on with the engine. Uh, there's that flashings on. Uh, are the brake lights set up? I can't see. John, press the front brake for me. Oh, yes, and the rear? No, no rear. Ah, oh, yes, rear worked in the end there. All right, so it's, you, from an MOT point of view, it's, it's doing the basics. But, uh, yes, we do need it to run a bit smoother. Uh, the rear brake system, which is a double brake system, it breaks the front and the rear. They're always junk on these bikes. Um, the, the rear don't skid and it hardly presses the front, they're always junk. Uh, what you can do is you can take off, to convert this to a single bolt banjo, take off the front system because it's really big and long and airy uh, and that's kind of where it goes wrong. I am going to try and power the choke now, probably direct to the battery to see if um, taking the choke off makes a difference. And I may, I may put in um, a bigger jet. Uh, problem is, I don't know what size jet's in it already. They don't, um, they don't tell you. So that's kind of it for today, really, guys. We've learned some lessons. The um, it will need to be up jet. I mean, if we're running no air filter or that AirPod, it needs a lot of fuel to match a lot of air. Um, I'd be tempted. In fact, John. We we if we pop the plug at some point we'll be able to see 
And in fact, guys, let's show you the colour of the plug. So if it's white, it's very lean. Is that right? Yeah. If it's black, it's very rich. If it's a nice brown colour, then it's spot on. Let's pop the plug. Let's see what we're working with. Bye. <laughs>